Oh, oh, oh. Uh, hello and welcome. Uh, welcome back to the channel, uh, Frugal Outdoors, and I'm Dylan. Uh, and we're out again tonight. It is the uh, it's round three uh, of the West White Danglers League, uh, and we are fishing at uh, Totland. Uh, I'm not entirely sure which area we're fishing. Uh, it's quite breezy, so I do apologise. I'm trying to cover the mic. Um, yeah, I'm not sure where we're fishing exactly, if we're fishing up to the landslide, uh, to the pier, or to the other side of the pier, to the waterfront, or all the way down to the uh, lifeboat house or what. Uh, so I'm a little bit early, but I just thought I'd come and have a rosy. Uh, I did fish down here the other night, actually, and uh, it's a lot more snaggy than it used to be, but it wasn't too bad. I lost one, one set of gear. But I thought the tide would be a bit further out now, so I can actually have a look to see what I was fishing over. And it's not. So, I'm basically <laughs> exercising the legs for kind of no reason other than for a nice walk in the wind and absolute freezing cold. Anyway, uh, we are here. So, uh, I'm going to turn around in a minute, wait for the guys to get down uh, so I can find out what number I am and uh, figure out where I'm going to fish. And then get my gear set up and hopefully. Do a little bit better than I've done the last two rounds because I've scored no points in one. And hopefully, I can get a couple this time though, so I shall uh, bring you back when we're a bit nearer the top. Here. Got a nice, uh, looks like we've got a nice bit of colour in the water. Uh, it's a little bit sort of cloudy, but not too cloudy. I mean, I <laughs> I'm just repeating what other people say, to be honest. Um, but I know that people don't like it when it's really clear, and it's not. So yeah, it's got to be a good thing. Uh, but yeah, it looks great, man. But yeah, I'm really excited. I'd say I really want to get into a fish. I don't care if it's a big fish, don't care if it's a huge fish, big fish any fish in size I'll be happy tonight I'll uh, just relax and get into some fishing uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm gonna do. <laughs> if I don't slip over and break my neck I'm going to have a little route around in, in this little shallow here it's not a lot to have a look into really but there might be some crabs, some peelers like, so I've bought some peelers uh, well be two weeks ago now I think a week ago at least, oh, maybe a week ago I bought some um, when I dropped the kids off in West Bay um, so there must be some around whether they're here or not I don't know but we should soon find out ah well that was alright a few hardbacks and uh, quite a few blennies actually out of the water like lifting the rocks into the, where the shingle was and stuff and there's blennies just sitting on there but um, I don't want to get into live baiting or anything tonight if there were some peanut crabs then I would have kept them but there wasn't so I'll leave everything to it. Uh, yeah, we're getting close to the time now, so I'm just heading back to the car. Uh, and yeah, just wait to find out really where we're gonna fish from. I can't wait, man. Uh, I've chopped up, I'll show you later, but I chopped up a load of old mackerel, squid, like part bags and bits and bobs that I've got. Uh, chopped them up and put them into two like takeaway tubs uh, for chum. So I'm hoping depending on where I can get myself. Uh, I can have, have a little go and chum in, see if I can't quick that bass. Uh, but I'm not gonna fish for a bass all night, so I'll probably like give it like sort of three hours, maybe half a session of one rod, and just have a go. You never know, might pull one out, I think there's a few coming out, so. Uh, yeah, that really, dogfish, um, a ray, that'd be nice. <laughs> uh, but yeah, 
yeah, really sort of will be after the uh, dogfish, just try to get up and get some numbers, uh, and then hopefully target a bass later on if I can. Right, there we go. Uh, again, <laughs> apologies to the wind. Uh, the sunset behind me, uh, the camera really doesn't do it justice, but that is really red. Uh, and all you can see is a bit of glowy orange. Um, it's brilliantly, brilliantly red. It's absolutely stunning. I'll take a picture in a minute, see if I can get it. Uh, so yeah, I'm ready to set up. Not where I wanted to be. It's first and second choice spots We're already gone, but that's cool. I'm all right, I'm happy here. Uh, I'm just, I'm feeling, <laughs> Semi-confident, just want to catch a fish, any fish will do, so uh, not too much pressure, but it'd be nice to get something. Uh, so let's have a quick look at the rigs. Uh, right, here we go, let's come around this way, so hopefully we've cut a bit of the wind out. Uh, we've got three minutes till we've got to chuck out, so it's three minutes to six, start at six o'clock, fish until twelve. Uh, so anyway, here we go, uh, this is a two, two hook clip down, uh, snoods are probably about 14 inches, um, and they're uh, on size um, size ones, um, and that's a whole black lug there, which is all being bound up with a little tip to a little strip of squid, top and bottom. And pull that little bait stop down a bit. Uh, and on the other side, it's a bit of a bigger bait than I wanted to use, to be honest. I just wanted to get something ready. I'll probably be using slightly smaller ones than that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, a fillet of um, sardine uh, with half a uh, half a squid bound together, and that's just on your bog standard pulley pulley panel. Quite a long, quite a long panel. Uh, you know, quite a long snood on that. Uh, it's probably three to four foot. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty much on point to get them out. So fingers crossed. And there's Ben. Give a wave, Ben. Who's won won the last two comps? Both my rods are bouncing. Oh yeah, man, first cast. And uh, I totally, uh, I think I got wind knock because it just. You're over the top of me, God. <laughs> uh, yeah, I had a, had a wind knock in the braid and it just snapped straight away on the way out. All this line hanging out through the uh, eyes and stuff so that was a bit of a pain so I've now got two two pulleys out there because that's what I had ready uh, and then I've got now I'm going to get another two hooks because I really wanted one with a big bait and one with two hooks on so uh, but yeah we'll see how it goes but at least now I've got two rods in the water <laughs> Thank you. 
Ah, right, I've just done my first bait change, uh, and obviously the tide's coming in. I've started off on the beach, so I'm going to be moving back. Um, I've just started to move all my stuff up onto the concrete, onto the footpath. Um, but yeah, no bites yet, but the, the baits have been stripped, so I mean, there's, there's obviously some crab activity out there at the minute. Uh, but yeah, now I finally got out the black lug, which I really wanted to because I wanted to have two, a two hook uh, with just some small uh, size ones, not size two, so I've upped it a little bit. Um, but yeah, they're out there now. Uh, like I said, I've just started moving my gear back, so I think I'll be able to give it another 20 minutes. I've just recast, so 20 minutes, and then I'll move all of the stuff up onto the wall, out onto the sea wall, and then I can settle down and sit down a little bit and, uh, and take it in. <laughs> I'm anxious, man. But yeah, hopefully we'll get a fish. There we go. Had to adapt. I've just had to tape the stand to the, uh, the railings because it's sliding about all over the place. Hopefully it'll work. So at least I've got two baits back in the water. And uh, my battery went flat on the phone. Uh, I missed a really good bite. I haven't reeled it in yet. because Two really good knocks and it just stopped. Um, so I'm just going to give it a little, couple of minutes and then uh, bring it in and see. But uh, as far as I know, uh, there's been a couple, at least if I do that, I can see them behind me. A um, couple of dogfish so far uh, from some of the boys. And, uh, and that's it at the moment. So hopefully we can uh, get something out. Sorry, I'm concentrating because I can see my rod tip lights behind me so I'm looking at that uh, but yeah hopefully we'll get something and I'll be able to bring you back to it There we go, I thought I had a bite, and lo and behold, we got a little white in, little pin one. It's only 10 inches, so it's not big enough to weigh in, but at least it's a fish. Uh, but that's the first white in I've had. I had one like back in October or something. Whoops. <laughs> He's got a bit of a headache now. Uh, but yeah, let's get it quickly back in and uh, try and get one that's about an inch bigger. <laughs> Oh, I'm chuffed about that. <laughs> I know it's not big enough to weigh in, but it's a fish. And the first white in that I've had this year, so. Uh, and everyone else seems to be getting loads of them all around the country, but we don't get too many of them here, so. Just a shame it wasn't big enough, but there we go. But at least we know there's fish in there, so keep going. Ah, right. So, uh, we're, we're two hours in, it's eight o'clock. Uh, I had that white in probably about 20 minutes ago. Um, so what I've done now is I've, I've changed my tactics slightly. Uh, so rather than before I was going with, I was alternating between two big baits, two pulley panels, uh, and a two hook clip down, which was on size twos. Uh, now I've got two sets of uh, clip downs with size twos and only one big bait. Uh, so I'm alternating, rotating through it. So every now and again, there's two rigs out there with four baits, uh, and every now and again, there's a big bait going out there in amongst it and sort of rotating through. So uh, trying to mix it up. But if there's white in there, uh, you know, it's a good opportunity to try and get one that's just one that's in size. I haven't heard of any others coming up up and down uh, white in, so it might have just been a fluke. But as far as I'm aware, if there's one, there's normally a few. So uh, so yeah, so I've gone with two small. That first one came on a, on a mackerel. Uh, it was actually the black, same black lug, it was still on there, so I left it on there and just tipped it off as mackerel. Uh, and that's what it came to, so... Uh, and it was literally like pretty quick, so it's gone straight back out, same bait, out. And on the other one I've got two squid heads. 
Uh, so yeah, we'll see. Like I say, I've got a fish, so I'm all right. I'm, I'm pretty relaxed now. Um, to the left of me and to the right of me hasn't been a fish, so. Uh, you know, I, I think they'll come. The tide is now really pushing in, so. Uh, and I have got that chum. Um, but I really want to get on the board first before I start playing around trying to get a bass. It'd be nice to get a dogfish or a big pout or a big white in. Get, get some points and then I'd, I would like to spend like a couple of hours having to go to the bass but we shall see So, uh, like I was saying earlier, we're on uh, round three of uh, the West White Danglers League at the minute. Uh, and what a fish is a bit poor for me, at least, anyway. Uh, give a shout out to J JV Fisheries, uh, who sponsored this round. Uh, they're fishmongers in freshwater. Uh, really good quality stuff. But like I said, I did it last year. Give them a shout out and stuff. And uh, like I said, I've had mussels and stuff in there. The shellfish is spot on. Uh, they've got their own boats and stuff like that. They, they get their own crab and lobsters. Uh, and yeah, it's really good quality. So if you're in fresh water uh, and you're looking to get some nice fresh fish, go check out JB Fisheries. Right, Gordy has just had a monster of a rock in there. What's that? Three bearded. Three, is it? Yeah, three, three bearded, bearded rock in. Yeah, it's huge, man. Wicked. Right, quick update. Uh, yeah, Gord next to me just had a whopper, one pound three uh, rocklin, three bearded rocklin. Uh, I don't know if it's a new club record or not, but it, I mean, it's a bit rockly, I thought, anyway. Um, yeah, I haven't had anything since that whitein. Uh, it's gone, well, it seems to have gone pretty quiet. I mean, it's pretty windy, man, and I've, the swell is like uh, kicking the a bit of spray up over my rods and stuff so not in the best position to be honest uh, it's super cold <laughs> jeez super cold uh, but yeah so I'm still alternating through the baits trying all sorts sardine mackerel squid black lug uh, I've got a couple of big baits ready to go but like I say I'm, I am still trying to make sure that I've um, always have two small hooks in as well um, but I'm going to have to change something up in a minute because nothing is happening. So um, I've got one peeler crab, uh, which I'm thinking I'm going to cut in half uh, and make two little cocktails to put on the um, on a two hook and probably just put one on one of the hooks and then do it again so I can get it in there in the water twice. Like I say, try and, try and eke it out really. Uh, but yeah, pretty slow. So it could be three, three rounds of no points. Hopefully not, but it may well be. <laughs> Mate, I am super stoked. One pound twelve. That's not a bad size, to be honest. I'm starting to lose the will to lift. 
was nearly ready to go home and drink myself to oblivion, but we got ourselves a fish. Stoked, man, I got some points. Super, super happy. <laughs> oh, man, I'm so chuffed. I was desperate to catch a fish today. I'm, like I say, I haven't scored points in the first two rounds, so round three, I really needed to. And I'm not fishing the next one either, because uh, it's Daisy's birthday, so uh, I've taken that one off. So I, was, I knew that I had to catch something today, uh, and I did. So yeah, one pound, 12 and a half. I think Milo's had a one pound, 13, so half an ounce, uh, which is the biggest fish at the moment. Uh, so I nearly had the biggest fish but I'll take some points on the board. Oh, super chuffed. Uh, I think we've still got time. I don't, I don't even know what the time is. I think it's about half 10, so we've still got about an hour and a half. Uh, hopefully, still gonna pick someone else up. I'd say I had that white in as well. Um, unfortunately, not in size, but I'm um, super chuffed, man. And again, that was on the, on the uh, little size two with a little uh, tiny piece of, he of herring um, so that's gone back out herring and I've used one of those little um, half a peeler crab and squid wrap on the other hook uh, and on, on the other rod I've got a um, the head and guts of a herring so uh, yeah hopefully bring something else out but I'm on the board man that's it that's all I care about I'm on the board baby well, we are. I think we're, we're literally just about into our, into the, uh, the last hour. Uh, my rods are taking a right pounding from the spray from the sea. Uh, I haven't had anything since uh, that dogfish, um, but I am super stoked to get it. Um, I've changed now that I've got that. I have changed it up a little bit. Um, I'm now reverting back to the two big baits and one. Uh, flapper rig uh, and alternating through. Uh, so at the moment, like I said, I've got a head, head and guts of a um, uh, sardine, head and guts of a sardine out there at the moment, and, uh, and a whole squid. And then I've got a, uh, the other half of that crab uh, and squid wrap. Uh, and I don't know what I've got on the other, on the other hook. Maybe, oh, squid head. Uh, so that's on the flap, but that's waiting to go back out. So, uh, but yeah, man, it's pretty. Um, there's a lot of spray coming up, and so I haven't got a lot of options. I have to have my rod there, otherwise I'll be blocking off the entire footpath. So, but that's right. It's cold. My feet are cold. I wore wellies today, and it is cold, man. <laughs> northeasterly, more easterly, I reckon, but it's definitely it's a northeasterly. Um, but yeah, we pulled a fish out, so. I'm stoked. Ooh, all right. Just had my last chuck, uh, so we haven't got long to go now, <laughs> which I'm quite glad about because it is cold. Uh, quite often I do feel like staying a bit longer, but yeah, not tonight. <laughs> I'll be quite glad to get in, I think, and uh, and unwind. Always takes me a little bit of a while. I'm sure it's the same for most people getting to the door it takes me at least an hour or two hours so i very much doubt i'll be asleep before two o'clock in the morning but that's the price to pay for doing what we enjoy doing i suppose what is sometimes a very relaxing sport also can be quite quite stressful but today it's been really nice uh just watching the rods bobbing up and down to, to be honest there's been a lot of swell so didn't, didn't have a go with the uh, chum, so that's still in the tub, so that will go straight back in the freezer, uh, bring it out another day. Uh, but yeah, anyway, like I say, uh, last baits are out there now, so I'm just going to keep an eye on those, slowly pack a few bits away, and hopefully uh, get someone else. But if we don't, I don't really mind, because we've got on the board. But yeah, cool man. Right, well we've only got a couple of minutes left now, so uh, <laughs> unless anything magical happens, uh, which I don't think it is, I will put it in now. 
and if it doesn't then obviously I won't so um, yeah I just want to thank you all again for stopping by and uh, I hope you enjoyed it but so I, I really enjoyed this session I was a bit nerve-wracking to be honest but so I haven't put any points on the board for the first two rounds so uh, I was really chuffed to get to get that dogfish which is in size I had a white in which is undersized uh, but that's my first white of the year so uh, yeah pretty pleased really pretty good session all round so I'll take that all day long points on the board so can't be too bad uh, so yeah till the next one hope everyone stays safe and uh yeah man maybe see you out there take care